Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Mega Man Battle Network 3. We're back here in Land's room after finally it took me forever. I haven't even edited it yet. I just recorded this right afterwards. I don't know how long the last episode's gonna be. If it's super long, apologies. I'll try to shorten it as much as I can so it hopefully won't be super long. Uh, but if you remember, the next thing we need to do to get to rank 2 is to find the Navi at the place of battle. Which is either that N1 Grand Pre place or at the Hades Isle. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go check at the N1 place though first because it, it seems more likely. So as soon as I run into the guy, I will let you know. I find it hard to believe that they let people just come on stage like this and don't even like call security or anything. This kid just runs on stage, plugs his thing into the computer. The, whoa, you look bad. Um, I'm gonna save. I can sense great power. I hope you realize I'm Bowl Man. Oh, because bowling. Yeah. Rank 2. Who are you, kid? Mega Man, rank 3. I'm looking for a Navi called S. Don't make me laugh. A little runt like you, rank 3. And you think you can meet up with S? Of course, the best way to meet him is to raise your rank. So, you know us. Well, I don't mind telling you what I know about us. But you'll have to beat me first. It's the law of the ranked navvies. Fight for what you want. Prepare to meet your maker. Bowlman. That's an interesting navvy name. Okay. Let's begin, shall we? Hopefully he doesn't screw up all my panels. We're gonna find out in a bit. Wow. Like a machine gun and bowling pins. Well, I mean, if that's his basic attack, and I'm not too worried about him screwing up my panels, but maybe he'll do something and break the ground. I'm, you know, it's not the first time Navvies have surprised me. I see one of these annoying Navvies that stays on the back row. I hate these things. I can't ever do any close range attacks to them. Oh no, it looks like he comes up to the front. I might be able to get him if he comes up here. If I do enough damage, I can break him. Sweet. Doing that seems hard. Man, this Navi's a pain in the butt. Come on, come up closer. There we go. Okay. We can definitely do this. It's just going to be annoying, I can tell. Just due to the fact that there's very little gap, if any, between his attacks. Uh, his bowling pin attacks, I mean. Oh, crap. I mean, I'm not worried about dying unless he actually breaks my panels. I'm just slightly worried that... I'm just slightly worried that it's going to take me forever to damage him. Ow. Very least he doesn't break my panels, that would suck a lot. He's got the stupid machine gun, what the heck? I could actually use this as a chance to do some damage. Let's see if I can land this on him. Ah, sweet, that does loads of damage. I think he forgot to put his bowling pins out before he started bowling. The good news is that the nearly undodgeable machine gun of pins doesn't do a lot of damage. It's like 30 damage, which compared to bosses normally around this range is very low. Oh man, that's gonna hurt him though. <laughs> Take that, you stupid enemy. Gonna give me loads of money? Okay, I'm, I'm, I guess that's okay. You're pretty good beating me like that. Well, you know, I, I do have the grass floor on my side. If you can't break that, I'm pretty much invincible. But you're not good enough to defeat Serenade. Serenade, you mean... Yes, yeah, Serenade is the real name of the Navi you seek. Really? Tell me where I can find him. Very well. Serenade is deep within the Undersquare. He resides in an area where regular Navis cannot enter. So how do I get to that area? 
Take this and go to the Undernet server. Mega Man got ranked too. The Undernet server? The server room that lies that runs the Undernet lies somewhere in the real world. From there you'll be able to reach Serenade. The door to the server is hidden by a boulder. A server door hidden by a boulder? Where can it be? We'll just have to search everywhere. Uh, hmm. My first guess would be somewhere in Yoka. In fact, that would be my only guess. I think it might actually be where that uh, hot spring is, possibly. I'm going to check there, and I'll come back to you guys whenever we get there. Wait, who the heck is this person? No, go away! This boutique is having a sale soon! And I'll be first in line for bargains. Don't tell, okay? This should persuade you. Spin purple? Oh, sweet. This is actually really cool. So, what we can do with this is now purple programs can be rotated, I believe. I don't know how. Is it... Select? Start? No. Alright, so I was being a little bit dumb, but you can't blame me. This isn't purple. This is pink. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna rebuild my customizer. In fact, actually, does that rebuild it? Ah, oh, sweet, okay. So we got a we got a ability to rotate purple, but we have pink programs. Yeah. I'll see you guys when I get over to the oak area. Alright, so we're at the lovely, lovely place with the hot spring. And if you remember, there was a little pile of, uh, of containers over here that blocked us from going in. Well, no longer. Now we can actually go back over here. Such a decent place, but it's well maintained. It's hard to believe when there's a pile of containers blocking the way. But anyway, you can see an elevator inside the boulder. Do you get in? Of course you do. Wow, this place looks sinister. Would you believe that in, in the middle of Yoka, in, in, in near the hot spring, is where the server for the Undernet is located? Would you believe that? I certainly wouldn't. I think it'd be somewhere more sinister. So, this is the Undernet server. This server's huge! I've never seen anything like it. Bear of rank two, jack in. Who said that? Jack in. Well, we didn't come all this way for nothing. Are you ready, Mega Man? Ready and willing. Jack in, Mega Man execute. Bing! All right. So, proceed. Land, I'm going in. So yeah. This is the area right behind the statue, which you normally can't enter unless you go in this way. What's this? Where does this giant hole lead to? You've done well to make it this far. My name is Serenade. I reign over all the ranked navvies. Serenade, I am Mega Man. I've come on behalf of the officials to get the forbidden program. Someone is trying to awaken Alpha. Unfortunately, the forbidden program cannot be given. Only a chosen one may, may wield the program. A chosen one? But if I don't get it, the net society will perish. Are you prepared to take the test to see if you are chosen? If so, reach out and take the program in front of you. It is the one which you seek. It is the forbidden program. Ooh, it looks forbidden to me. This is the forbidden program? Now then, take it. If it flares up with a blue flame, you are the chosen one and can wield the program. However, if you are not chosen, you will immediately suffer the effect of the program. You, Mega Man, will be frozen for all eternity. No power will ever be able to awaken you. Now then, grasp the program and discover your destiny. Mega Man. Lan. Ah, grasping program. Mega Man? Mega Man! So, he is frozen. No, Mega Man! Hmm? <laughs> wow, that was convenient. <laughs> Lan, I did it! I can use the program! What were you thinking, pulling a stunt like that? Excellent. The program is yours to wield, Mega Man. 
Mega Man got Giga Freeze. All right, Mega Man, mission completed. Not yet, Lan. We have to take this program to the officials. Oh, yeah, all right, let's jack out. Roger. So, there's another Navi who can wield Dr. Akari's program. Sinister, I knew it wouldn't take you long to reach Serenade. Who's there? I am the administrator of the Undernet. Who? <gasps> Mamoru! Oh my gosh, you knew! You're the administrator of the Undernet? You? Actually, the creator of the Undernet was a Scilab scientist. That scientist is my father. What? Your father? A Scilab scientist created the Undernet? So you mean it was a Scilab project? I've never heard of anything like that before. The Undernet is a weapon to counter Alpha. Created to develop and preserve the Forbidden Program. But if Scilab made the Undernet, why is it so dangerous now? Because the Forbidden Program was too dangerous. It is the power to freeze Alpha, which means if misused, all of Net society could be frozen in an instant. It has that much power? Yes, that is why they created a vast area away from the regular Net. If an accident were to occur, the damage would be contained. Since it was so isolated, it turned out to be a perfect hiding place for criminals. Tell me, Mamoru, if so many measures had to be taken against Alpha, what exactly is he? The ultimate beast. And a creation of Skylab, of course. Skylab? Is that enough Wii Emergency alert! The Tetragate has been destroyed! No, it's Alpha! Quick land! Hurry to Skylab 1! Someone's stealing Alpha! Got it! Mega Man, let's get over to Skylab 1! Roger! About the same time in Skylab 1. Oh no! Drill mode! Activate Tetra Codes! This is why they've been collecting the Tetra Codes, by the way. Alpha is mine! Wow, that worked out well. We've actually seen this thing passing by a couple of times, I don't know if you noticed. They just kind of had it on a platform for everyone to see. This is the end of Net Society. An intruder is stealing Alpha! Finally, some adults actually come and try to do something. Official scum! You're too late! Drill mode! Ha! Wow. Just drilled a hole straight into the side of the internet. Alpha's been stolen! The Net Society is doomed! Doomed, I say, doomed! Alright, so yeah, we need to go there, and since you guys know most of the way to there, unless we run into something along the way, I will be back whenever we get there. So see you guys in a bit. Alright, back again, right in front of the area. Hello, guy. The culprit escaped through a hole he drilled in space. Please, you gotta chase him down and get Alpha. Because, you know, the officials can't do anything about this. How could that even happen? Alpha, we're finished. Of course we're not. Hey look, it leads to the internet. Remember that weird little loop over here that we had that seemed useless? Apparently it's actually useful. Nice drill man. Uh, I don't know how to get to him. So we're just gonna have to sort of bumble our way around until we find it. Conveniently though, now we have a method to get from, uh... From the Skylab to the, like, deep part of the internet without having to go nearly as long. Which I guess is kind of cool, you know in a sort of not cool, boring type of way. And uh, I did spend a lot of time that I cut out in the last episode, at least I'm assuming I cut it out because I haven't actually looked at the episode yet, uh, but I spent a lot of time I cut out in the last episode in this section, but since I haven't actually showed it while recording, I figured I might as well show you guys now. Aw, oh, dang it. He hit me and I got rid of my bomb. That's annoying. I like this is this is the worst stage for Radons, by the way, because it's you can dodge them, but it's very hard because you 
can't just cut through the middle or like double back on yourself or anything. Which is the best way to deal with Radons normally. Okay, welcome back. Um, I don't really know how to get to him. Oh, actually, I do know how to get to him. Sort of. I don't know off the top of my head. But we can figure it out. This won't be too bad. I don't really want to fight these enemies, but I have a feeling it's going to force me to fight them. Oh no, good. Okay, cool. There is, because uh, there's that platform over there, and before when I looked at it, it seemed useless. Which I'm, you know, sure it was, but... Ah, crap. But now it's actually, I should be able to find him fairly quickly. If I can just get out of all these stupid randomized battles. They're taking all my time up. that way and now we find the path I think after this randomized battle the good thing is that I'm strong enough to actually resist these battles all right here he is I don't know if I have to fight him or what's gonna happen so I'm gonna save first and now drill man hand over alpha mega van <laughs> so I ran into you before awakening alpha this must be my lucky day now I can pay you back for what you've done. What I've done? Yes, I'm going to drill a hole right through you. You'll pay for what you did to my cousin, Bubble Man. Why would your cousin be Bubble Man? That just seems like he would be counterproductive. You'd pop all his bubbles with your little pointy hands. Here he comes, Mega Man. Battle routine set. Do programs have cousins? I'm going to drill you into a pile of dust. I didn't think programs had cousins. Oh man, compared to all those enemies I've been having to fight recently... Drill Man seems like he'll be a little easy. Just because he only has 600 health. Well, okay, maybe not. Maybe not easy. Let's say not as hard. Because I can't attack him directly forwards because he has that drill blocking the shots. I mean, I could try this. Oh, come on, dang it. I was saving that for a special occasion. No, oh, no, that didn't work either. Crap. Well, luckily, unless he breaks my floor panels again, I am still invincible. I just don't like using that technique if that's the only way I can win. Like, it feels cheating slightly. Also, I wish he would stop doing this one attack pattern should have recycled some of those chips. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, never mind. He's breaking my floor panels. I'm not invincible anymore. Uh, give me some better chips. Ah, sweet. Finally. Okay. What do we do? What do we do? Oh, I need to take advantage of this. I wasn't really prepared for this. Oh, dang it. Oh, man. Okay, let's hope we land this up. It will do a ton of damage if we do. Ah, sweet. Nice. That's gonna help a lot. Okay, good, and he, he seems to get, when he gets hit, he seems to immediately, like, recoil from the attack. Which is good. This is one of those enemies, I think, if I didn't have this tornado thing, and I didn't have any chips on me, like I used them all up, I think I would legitimately lose it. Please don't move, please don't move, please don't move. God, yes! Oh, suck it, punk! Give me my money. Oh, yeah. Lord Willy, I have failed you. Arrgh, Bubble Man, I'm coming to you. <laughs> yeah. Whew, if Willy had gotten his hands on Alpha, yeah, we would have been goners. Come on, let's take Alpha back to Skylab. Right. Uh-oh. Er, I know the sensation! I've got a bad feeling. Hurry, Mega Man, get Alpha! 
I cannot allow you to have Alpha. No, Mega Man, you're frozen in fear. No, he's got Alpha. Lan, let's use you know what. You mean the Forbidden Program? Yes, it's our only chance. Okay, this is better work. Right. Giga Freeze! Did we get him? Wow, that didn't work at all. That sucked. Can't be. He caught it in one hand? Why doesn't he freeze? Don't tell me. He's a chosen one too? You can use the Giga Freeze. Hmm. That means you... This is getting interesting. I will let you live for now. Farewell. <laughs> the forbidden program didn't work. Alpha's been stolen. We've got to do something, or our net society is done for. Right. First, let's go report this to Chad. Because Chad knows how to do everything. <laughs> we did it, Bass. Alpha is mine at last. How I have dreamed of this day. The end of the Net Society is finally at hand. Gather to me once more, my WWW operators. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's this? Where am I? I'm on the internet. Is this the cyber world? Why am I in that cyber world? Lan, is that you, Mega Man? Mega Man, what am I doing in the cyber world? I called you, Lan. You did? But why? <laughs> to say goodbye. I'm sorry to leave you, but I must go. The years that we spent together are priceless to me, Lan. Goodbye? What do you mean? What, what, you gotta go, like, check the mail or something? I'm glad to be able to see you this one last time. Thank you, Lan. Mega Man, no! Wait, Hub, don't go! Why can't I move? Hub! That's such a weird name. Ah! Hub? Lan, Lan! Oh, it was just another bad dream. Was that a dream? You look like you had an awful dream. Are you okay? Yeah, it was just a nightmare. You sure you're okay? Well, if you say so. What's that going on outside? I noticed that too, so I checked on the internet. The army marched in this mo- What? We're under martial law. Are they preparing for an attack by Alpha? Yeah, I guess. The army showing up like this can mean only one thing. The situation has gotten very dangerous. Wow. You'd think they'd have more people guarding this thing if it was literally that dangerous. None of this would have happened if I had gotten Alpha. I've got to do something. Well, the army is here, and I'm sure officials are too. You know, since they're finally doing their stupid job. Best thing for us to do now is just to get to school. Okay. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, so we're gonna head to school because that's what you do whenever the world's under martial law. Or at least our area. Anyway, I'm gonna stop here for today. We are very close to the end of the game. So I hope you guys enjoy. And come back next time for more Mega Man Battle Network 3. Bye!